Hey everyone, welcome to Cocktails and Dreams. I'm your host, Zach Prohaska. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the five basic bartending tin splits that you need to know. Now, before I show you these tin splits, I just want, again, I wanna apologize for not being consistent on my videos. I am now much more focused on my YouTube channel, so let me know what you wanna learn below and I'll make a video for you. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video and hit that little bell thing down there to get notified when I post new content. And lastly, follow me on Instagram at CD Bartending. I post one minute tutorials pretty much every day. Let me know what you wanna learn and I can make a video for you up there as well. Okay guys, now that's enough of my talking. Let's get into the tin splits. So what a tin split actually looks like is this. All right, and I'm gonna show you five different styles of tin splits that you can use when you're using multi objects or if you just wanna kinda of fool around behind the bar or you're getting into competitions. These tin splits will help you look a little bit more stylish and will help you build and, and connect your multi object moves. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a real basic one. It's the inside tin split. So what we're gonna do is replacing both tins inside each other just like this. I'm gonna put my thumb inside and my four fingers on the outside. I wanna pull the tins just so they're separated like so. I'm gonna swing in front of my body, okay? When I reach my shoulder, I'm gonna let go of both objects. So the tins are going to release in the air and they're going to split like this, okay? And I'm gonna gently catch both at the same time. So we're splitting, catching. I'm going inside, releasing and catching. One more time, release and catch, okay? So this is the inside tin split. Now the outside tin split is very similar. We're putting our thumb on the inside, our four fingers on the outside. Now instead of releasing inwards, we're gonna swing outward and the two tins are gonna float in front of us and we're gonna catch at the same time. I'll show you again. Thumb inside, four fingers out, split, catch. Split, catch. Okay, so so far we've got an inside split and now we have an outside split. This one, we're gonna split and nest, and it looks like this. All right, I'll show you again. Just like that. So what I'm doing, again, I'm putting my thumb inside, I'm putting my four fingers on the outside. I'm having that little space. I'm pulling the tins towards me. Now notice I'm not whipping my wrist towards me, causing the tins to fly at my face. My, my wrist is straight. I'm just lifting at the elbow and letting go of both of the objects. Now what I want you to practice now is catching that bottom tin with your right hand. So it's in my right hand. I'm going to split, catch the bottom, catch the top of my left. Split, catch the bottom, catch the top of my left. And notice when I'm catching my tin, I'm rotating my wrist up. So the mouth of the tin is facing up. So then what I want you to do is we're gonna throw, catch, and nest. I'll show you again. Throw, catch, and nest. Throw, catch, and nest. Okay, so here's our fourth tin split. It looks like this. All right, I'll show you again. Split, catch, catch. So what we're doing is the same as what we were doing in the, in the uh, split before. We're releasing both tins. You're catching the bottom tin upside down and you're letting the, the top tin float over your shoulder and to behind the back, catch. Okay, I'll show you again. Split, catch, catch. Split, catch, catch. And if you want, you can add one of these. Okay, and our last split is the split to stab that looks just like this. I'll show you again. So what I'm doing, again, I'm putting my thumb inside, my four fingers on the outside, I'm pulling the tins apart, I'm lifting at the elbow, I'm releasing both, but what's happening is I'm catching the first tin and I'm coming down and stabbing the second. So it's up, catch, stab. I'll show you again. Up, catch, stab. All right, so that's a little bit of a harder one. I wouldn't recommend you doing it behind the bar, but do it when you can, do it on stage, but make sure you practice it because if you miss it, that tin can go flying. Okay guys, so there you have it. We have our inside split, our outside split, our split to nest, our split to behind the back, and our split to stab. Practice your splits, guys. They look great. They really will help you with your multi-objects. Have fun, and I'll see you next week.